All right, everybody. I'm gonna show you how I skin an otter with the feet on. I do use my skinning machine for this. I'm gonna take my time. I just wanna show this to you. I'll, I'll probably cut in and out just because I don't want it to be such a long video, but it is kind of cons time consuming, but I, I take my time because I wanna make sure I do a great job on this otter. But what I start out with, I mean, I use, I use a scalpel and I go from the heel from one heel to the other go right underneath of the vent you gotta kind of watch what you're doing here because these otters have uh, scent glands too and you don't want to bust them they they have their own kind of smell that's for sure all right so get across there and go up this leg up to that pad and then right here in the middle of the tail start right above the vent and just make a like a v to go around that vent cut that out So once you're past that, you can skin down this leg a little bit if you want. But after I get that part done, I take my uh, tail stripper, or splitter, I should say, and I take that and I just come right down the middle of this tail. This is kind of the hardest part. For some people on an otter and just want to make sure you take your time come right see I'm off a little bit but not much right down the tip like that go ahead and skin this tail out because what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these feet off once I get skinned around them and uh, I'm gonna cut them off and then I'm gonna hang it by the feet just so I can skin out all the toes you'll see what I'm talking about here in a little bit but like I said I do use this it's got these tubes of fat in them they're they're kind of deceiving when you're skinning the tail but just take your time you just want to cut towards the tail, don't cut towards the fur. You know, if you leave a little fat on there, it's not a huge deal. Because you're going to come back and flush that off anyway. Or I am. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tan this otter. It's going to a buddy of mine. He wanted the other one and I told him I wasn't going to get rid of any otters. But since I caught this other one, he's a really good friend of mine. He uh, went with me to Montana out to see Paul and I go elk hunting with him and hunting everything else all over the country. So he wants one. He's got a heck of a trophy room. Way, way nicer than mine. He's got everything mounted down there. Everything but an otter. That was the only thing I was trying to hold out on him because uh, I said that's the only thing I got that you don't got. <laughs> but he is a good friend so. I'm going to tan this otter with the feet on for him Long when I do the other one. Let's do them both at the same time. Let's see if you can get, get around this tail. There's no stripping a tail on an otter like you do anything else. There's just, there's just nothing. No way of doing it. Okay, so we're, we're through there. That's a good deal. Just gotta take your time. Just go around that tail all the way down to the tip. 
and I like I said I, I like using a, a um, scalpel for the otters just because it's and I put a brand new blade in every time just because it's so much easier than using a big bulky knife you get more control of what you're doing you know don't get don't get excited and think you can, you're going to be able to pull this tail down because you'll just rip it it's kind of tricky down here towards the tip but just take your time Take your time. Perfect. Just like that. Okay, so now I'm going to start skinning this leg. We got to get around both legs so we can cut the feet off, and then we got to harness him up here because the gambrel won't work. So I got a rope here that I just harness around the body, and then that way I can put it into the skin machine. I don't pull on it real hard. I just um, put tension on it to where I can it loosens the hide. You just you gotta take your time. You know, don't be in a hurry. There's no reason to be in a hurry with a real nice animal like this. I mean, I got beavers over there to skin yet, and, you know, but I want to make sure I do a good job on this guy. It's not the easiest thing, but. There we go. I'm, I'm through now on that. So I can work that hide down a little bit around that leg. Alright. Switch feet on this guy. I love this skinning machine that I built this year. Love it. And we'll come back down here. down as far as I can then we'll get well like I said we're gonna cut that off and then we'll be able to hang it from that foot and skin down past the pad and everything we just gotta get this leg skinned out first I can get through there now Not quite. Sorry, my garage is such a mess. I got this uh, buffalo hide here all tacked out. It's just, it's pretty much done. That was tanning. It's going to be pretty neat when I get that done. It just, I've been so busy trapping and skinning everything else that really didn't have the time to film much of that it's a lot of, of a waiting game more than anything now what I'm going to do I'm going to take this These loppers here. I'm gonna cut that foot off. Okay. So now we can work this down further. All right. 
right. So now what I'm gonna do, or attempt to do, hopefully this will hold this for now. It's gonna hold that for now. You can skin down quite a ways on these. This first claw here though, you gotta really watch when you're coming down. Just get it to where you're down past it a little bit. And then when you get to that last knuckle, you just cut right through there, and then that way it leaves the, leaves the claw and the pad on. So I'm going to go ahead and take that foot off now. There we go. So we got that all freed up now. We can start skinning it down. And then I'll put that rope around the body. Okay. So now here's where I'm gonna put this rope around it. Take it out of this clamp so that I can put it put it down into the machine but that ain't too long Clamp the feet in there. Don't clamp it too hard because you don't want to tear up your feet. Like I said, I'm not putting a lot of pressure on this with the machine. I'm just using it to put tension on it so it makes it just a little easier to skin. Hopefully, this rope ain't too long because then I don't want to run out of room just put a little tension I don't want to get too out of control with it and just do, do some relief cuts I like having a lot of people got an electric winch on their uh, skinning machine. I like having the hand winch because I can really feel what's going on and there's no jerking motion or anything. It's just you know, like this this thing hold this whole thing spins. It's just it's a it I, I really like this skinning machine. I don't know how many. See, I can I can feel how tight it is, and I know when when to say when, I guess. But I mean, I don't know how many raccoons I put through this thing this year. Just sped up the process for everything I did whole year. Get into the shoulders here, almost.
This is the front leg. You want to be careful right in here. You don't want to cut your belly. So you want to get these legs popped free. I want to get that leg, those legs out before I go any further here. There we go. Try to pull that leg down. Get through this leg here. Skin down around this leg. Okay, so I'm down pretty close to the paws now. Starting to see the tendons. There's the pad. So get it down there as far as you can. I think I just took that one front knuckle off right there. Very first toe. Just keep pulling it down. Front and back. Take your time. You can see the toes here all. This the fifth one right here, I already cut through that tendon right at the claw. So now we got four left here. So just keep pulling down. Try to take the outside one first. There. Through that one. Through the the cartilage or whatever that connects that that claw. <sighs> Go to this other outside one here. There, you're right through that. This is the main reason I'm doing this video, and I want to show you how to do it with the feet on. Right there, through that one. Got one left. You got it. 
so I'll, I'll flip that out when I get it the rest of the way skinned. I'm going to go ahead and skin this the rest of the way. Then I'll bring you back and show you how I take the, uh, the, the bones out of the hind feet. Same way, basically, but a little bit different. All right, everybody. So I got got it all skinned down completely. So now I'm I'm gonna I just put the back feet where I cut them off right here in my clamp on my skinning machine here, and just kind of do the same process as we did on the front ones. But it just makes it so much easier when you can get this rope out of my way and make it even easier. But it makes it easier when you can just hang it from this. If you don't have a clamp like this or a skinning machine, you can actually cut all these toes right across there and just use a pair of vice grips and hold them up one at one toe at a time and just let the weight of the fur pull it down. I mean, it's it it's, it just makes it easier when you got something to clamp it to. Since I got this clamp on this skinning machine here. Come down like you did the front feet, down all the toes. Like I said, this, this one on the outside is shorter. Well, that one's already taken off. It's right there. Never mind. But do the outside ones first. It's a, it's a lot easier on you if you get get them down. See right there. I'm through through that cartilage between that knuckle right at the claw. It's just easier if you do the outside ones first, in my opinion. Just keep skinning it down, putting pressure on it. And once you get to that knuckle, See, it, free, it basically frees itself. All right, we're through that. So there's what that back foot looks like. Got all the claws. I mean, I'll go back. I gotta push this one out, there it is. I go, I'll go back and when I flush this, you know, take that pad, the inside of that pad off. And I'll uh, stuff these with borax. But just looks really neat. They have them feet on there. Um, let me show you the front feet here. See, there's, there's your front feet. I mean, how, how cool is that? To have that on there. Like I said, I'll go back inside there and trim up the inside of the pads and everything and stuff that with with borax. But that's going to be really cool. That's a beautiful, beautiful otter. I mean, look at the the nice light color on the pale belly. Beautiful, beautiful looking otter. Like I said, got this back foot skinned out. I just got to do this one yet. And that's going to be ready for, uh, I'll put it in the freezer and tan them both at the same time. But that's uh, when trapping season's over. I got two more weeks of trapping. But I think that's just going to look so much cooler on a on a wall hanger with those, with those feet on there tanned. It's going to look nice. That's a beautiful otter. I hope I captured all that for you. It was kind of hard. One GoPro shut off on me and... Um, I don't know, I'm going to cut it a little bit, pieces in and out, so it just doesn't make it such a long video, but I think you get the idea. It's not that hard, really. I mean, a lot of people are scared to do it, but you just got to try it. And like I said, a scalpel really helps. It does. So, thanks for watching. I hope this helped you. Until the next video, good luck with everything.